to be honest, I forgot this came back on today. I really did. I really did. I forgot it came on. But then I hurried up and went back and watched it real fast. Okay, it's none of this is going to be in order. None of this is going to be in order. But this is, what, episode 7, I believe, of Playboy. Okay, so we're getting in, and the, what threw me off was all the um the sound effects they were using and then you know breaking the fourth wall. I'm like, what are we doing? What are we what's going on here? Um I knew they had like a two week break. I wasn't really sure what a two week break was for. To me it looked like it was a change in budget because the house looks different. The interior of the house looks different. And you have to remember back in episode one, they said that they go to a school that's meant for, you know, like, higher-up people. You know, they, they come from rich families, okay? And the only way you're getting into that school is if you have a scholarship. So why is the football team, you know, soccer or whatever, why are they playing on a field that look like no one has touched it in years with scrap metal and graffiti everywhere? Someone explain. Someone explain. If you go to a school... That has so much money. Why are you playing on that kind of football field? Someone explain. Because it's not adding up. That makes me feel like the budget has changed. It has changed tremendously. Tremendously. Um, You remember the Playboy Den? I call it the Playboy Den. It looks different. It, it's not looking the same like it did before. It's looking different. It makes me feel like the budget has changed tremendously. It would feel like it was a lot of filming outside. I'm not mad at it. Um, Hopefully, you get something different. And, like, filming inside of, like, I don't know what to call them. Like, what would you call it? Like, a, like construction sites. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Like, it was, like, stuff going on. I'm like, why are we doing this outside? Like, between... Zoe and, um, who was this man? Tenna? They had a scene. Was, I know it was supposed to be a picnic. But then Zoe was, like, doing the, I'll call it exam. And I'm like, shit, we in public right now. What are you doing? What are you doing? And then, you know, they had, it was like a, I don't know if it was a sound effect or a voiceover. And I'm like, what? What? What are we, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? We're out. Outside in the public. Like, like I said, the budget. The budget. And then, um, who was it? Captain and um, the co coach, Keen. They were like, I don't even know how to describe it. It was like, it's giving construction site. Because I'm like, why are you here doing workout? Doing a workout? What happened? Where's the school's budget at? What's going on? And then the guy, I guess he's on the football team, he saw them, you saw, he saw Captain all up in his, all up in King's face and was like, I caught your ass. I caught your ass. You in trouble now. And I'm like, rightfully so, because you know, Captain, to me, he's a douche. And the next thing you know, Captain getting beat up in a, not even, it's not even a room. It's like another part of the construction sites. And then he's like, I don't like him. I'm just using him so I can get on the team, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what? So then, you know, rightfully, Keen's feelings are hurt. So he's making the whole team run laps. And so when I'm I'm watching the scene when Captain getting beat up or whatever, I'm like, who's this old man? Who's this old man right here? Because, like, I know that I'm not trying to portray this, portray this old man as a student. This dude looked like older and everyone on, on the cast, he looked like he's supposed to be a crew member. Who is this man? Look, I'm just saying. I... And then they jump forward. He's talking about when he, after the later on that day, when Captain goes to Keen's house, he's talking about, I do like you, you know, trying to kiss up to him, whatever. And then they do whatever in the shower. And he comes out, he's talking about, I'm getting, re basically, you're trying to get revenge. And I'm like, where are you getting revenge for, Captain? If anyone should be getting revenge, it's Keen. You outed him. You basically said to everyone that you're using him to get on the team. 
Now you done took a you not this is not the first video you took of him. This is the second one. For what revenge? Cause he made you run some laps in that raggedy field? You're kidding at this point, right? You're kidding. You keep digging a ditch you know you can't climb your behind out of. You keep doing it. You keep. Why? At this point, just just ugh, I'm sick and tired of him. Okay. Then first was he was trying to basically give him a booty call. Okay. And then he found he matched up with Song Soon. Y'all know how y'all know who I'm talking about with his man, his pizza delivery man. And he he found him. He said, I'm leaving. He's like, first you were a fraud. Now you're a catfish. And I was like, stop. <laughs> you're not wrong. But it's like, oh my gosh. So he it was it was uh, it was different. It was different. Cause I was looking, I was like, are they staying in the same room? Are they staying in the same building? Jump in soon? Because they was on one side of the room, like on the like on I guess on the they was sharing the same wall or whatever. Soon and first one was one side. And then Porsche and Jump are on the other side. And then Jump is upset because he found out that Porsche is a sugar baby. What? So then now he's like, Rolls reverse, where I'm not gonna be, you know. I'm gonna be your master now, and then it's like they were showing jump with his with his, I don't know his boot thing or whatever. I'm like, who is that? Who is that? Like y'all, why do you keep putting, showing up all these random characters? Who is that man? Like what's going on? Like his his automatic fault when he saw Porsche phone was to get mad. I would have got scared. I've been scared because that the way that that text message was worded, I'd have been concerned for Porsche. Very much concerned. Okay, now the one. Now let's talk about Poon and, and Ob. <laughs> they were having a menagerie trois, I would say. And Ob was like, "Get out my face!" He told that to the client. He was like, "Get out my face!" And he was looking at Poon the whole time, and Poon was looking him right in the eye. And at the end, Poon was like, "You were you're jealous. I told you I was gonna be better than you. You said you didn't want me." And you upset the client. And, he's, and Pew was like, I didn't know the day was going to come so fast. I was going to become better than you. And he kissed him. He's like, thank you for that. And I was like, I'm not mad at you, Pew. Because all was playing in your face. He was playing in your face very much so. And then with Noof and Pub, it concerns me. Because Pub, every time we see him, it looks like he's not, not on cloud nine, on cloud fucking 11. Like He's always lost. Like He's always lost in the sauce. Like he don't know what's going on around him. Like, he really don't know. Like, he just always looked dazed out. Like, when, um, when Non came to the place, <laughs> like, surprise, bitch, and, <laughs> and Paul just, like, I got the papaya salad. He just looked lost in the closet. He's just sitting there while Non and Noof are arguing, just staring or looking around, staring, no concern whatsoever. And then when Non was like, I'll, I'll, I'll make him next. I'll make him next. And Bob just closing his eyes. And I'm like, yeah, show some concern. Try to get out, please. Try to do something. And I'm like, Non, why would you do this? You know, you could look at his face until he's out, out, lost in the sauce. Just out in the clouds. Like, I don't want people going after Bob because they know he's not all there in the head. Okay? If it's an outside influence or it's just him, I don't want them going after him, targeting him, because I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair at all. And then I don't know if any else, anyone else talked about it, but Prom is suspicious because when he was having that whole in um, interaction with Nan, he was like, you can stay with me. And then Nan was like, I'm not Nan. This is his life. And then Prom looked at him and he was like, stay for me. And then when Nan ch turned his head away, Prom was smiling. He was smirking. And I'm like, you suspicious as fuck. Like, Eric, to me, no one's innocent. The only one I think is innocent is Pop. And even so, he's not that innocent because he's he be doing some suspicious stuff. Like, but he be lost in the clouds in the sauce, and I be feeling concerned about him because people be trying to target him, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But... So far, the people who are on my shit list is Captain because it's tomfoolery, tomfoolery and prom, cause um, hmm, he's very much suspicious.